everybody. So I was trying to figure out how I was going to edit this uh, this film, but um, I basically wanted to show you today how um, you can take your own papers and make papers for your journals. So uh, I'm going to show you my slightly messy way of doing it and some of the just some of the thoughts I had um, while doing it. But um, so I'm going to record this first and then do a, a run through of um, you know what the results are after I guess I'll spit it out in a minute so anyway I what I did was I uh, took my jelly plate out and I made some papers so I've sh basically shown you I think all of the, the jelly prints that I did and and I'm not I'm not an expert on jelly prints or anything I just it's only like my second or third time of ever using one so I just had fun I just that's the main thing just have fun and then um, on these the film cuts off at the at the end because I uh, ran out of battery power but um, basically all I did was I took some of the jelly prints that I made and I just tore them out and I um, glued them onto a paper and uh, when I glued them onto the paper um, it basically turned out like this. So you'll see that. And then I did this one. And this one. Now, what I did after, after I did all this stuff, was I ran these through my printer. And um, basically it just kind of muted the colors a little bit and kind of blended it in a little bit. And then also I have these that I can use as a master if I ever want to use these papers again. And I can add, um, I can print them again, um, or I can take the ones that don't have anything on them and I can run them through, <clears throat> like maybe my Photoshop and add images to them, you know, if I want the background. I forgot about this one. Um, so, you know, you can add, you can Photoshop images onto your background. So that's kind of what I start with, kind of what I ended up with when I put them through my printer. I hope that makes sense. So if you want to stick around and watch me fast forward through this jelly plating and stuff, I'll make that kind of quick. I just wanted to show you um, what, the, what, my, what the process was, I guess, when I was doing that. And um, you can, I'll, I'll leave in all the goodies so you can see the big old mess I made and everything. And some of the stuff didn't turn out really that well, like, um, this is a bit dark, but I may use this in collage later. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I mean, you can use your imagination and uh, come up with more uses for, you know, things that may not seem like they're going your way, <laughs> but actually do in the end. So, anyway, there's that thought. So, if you want to hang around, we'll uh, go through this process real quick and I'll show you what happened at the end.
All right, so you survived through the jelly plate process and me cutting out like these little images and putting them on uh, paper. So saw me do that. So what I did after that was I ran, I ran everything through my printer. And like I said, it made, made them kind of muted. So I want to show you what I came up with and also some of the other ideas that I had. So the other ideas I had first are I um, ran them through my printer and this is just a, a an adult coloring page and you can if you I don't know if you can see but there are flowers and things behind here but it made it kind of a drooping Halloween picture because of that so that's that's one this one I ran through my printer but I, <clears throat> I ran a puzzle through the printer instead of regular copy paper see so you have a little bit of that background there too and it has maze on on the side but you know when I go put it in my journal I may, may end up cutting that off but it made a really cool pattern on underneath the pattern that I made so there's that then um, I want to show you the muted colors so this this one is the original that's what I started out with this one is the copy so see how it kind of muted that color so it's not you know if you don't want it in your face and if you don't want to use your original jelly print you can run it through your printer and make pages that way too. So there's that. And uh, here are some other ones I did. And I uh, forgot to tell you, I copied on both pages. So it kind of made a double sided paper. That to me is just you know, easier than just having all that blank space that I'm kind of used to doing. So I have double sided paper here. So all of these are just, just as prints that you saw me make. And they're just just ones that I copy. I just that's all I did. I'm not saying they're great. I'm just saying that's what I did. <laughs> and that one's kind of cool. It kind of looks like a spider web. So and you know here's here's one of the prints where I cut cut the image out. Let's see if I can find that one. I cut the image out and put it down on my paper. And of course I can't find it offhand. on it real fast. Doubtful, but I'll try. Okay. Anyhow, it's kind of kind of like this. I pasted the images on top of another painted paper. Okay, that's what I did. So that just kind of muted those images a little bit. See, so they're, you know, they're not, they're nice and smooth and not in your face. And they're some pose things here that I put on the side. Here's that. Here's one I just did. That's a better example, I guess. <clears throat> so you can see the original and then where I printed it out. So that's what that looks like. So it just kind of tones it down a little bit. And I print with an inkjet printer, so I've got to show you the back of that one. That's the back. And all these pages are going to kind of get covered up with goodies anyway when I put them in my journal. So I wanted kind of plain papers that I could add other things on top of. So, here's this one. There's my bats one. And um, <clears throat> all I did on this one was I took a paintbrush and just, you saw me do it, just draw. I just thought to myself, why, why not just draw little bats with a paintbrush? So that's what I did there and that's what it printed as. Now, when you do that, you have to print backwards. So you can tell on this one, even though I don't really care because it's crazy, I did my ass backwards. <laughs> so, but anyway, here's that one. <laughs> and then here's another one that I did where I pasted the little um, images on top here, right there. And uh, that's one of the homemade stamps that I have. I don't know if I bothered to show you, but I made homemade stamps. This is an old tile. I think it's a tile sample that I got, and I took some, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, foam, fun foam, and I drew on it, and then I pasted it onto another piece of fun foam and made a homemade stamp. So that is what is right here. That's ho all homemade stamp there. So that's, that's that one. There's the back of that one where I just kind of emptied my roller onto it. And I think underneath here is a printable. So, you know, hey, you got yucky printables. I'm not saying this, this one's yucky. It's just one I had on hand. But if you do have yucky printables that you don't really like, use them in your jelly plates. Paint over them. 
you know, create something else. So <clears throat> there's that. And then these are just witches' hats. And what I'll do when I put it in my journal is I'll just go over this with some ink or something. And then that's the back. So that's it. That's it for today. That's all I got. <laughs> I was trying to think of, uh, I was actually impatiently waiting on some uh, Halloween paper to come in. And I thought to myself, why don't I just make my own? I mean, you don't have to buy Halloween paper to put in your journals. You can paint your own. And if you don't have a jelly plate, just grab some old paint and throw it down and start, you know, playing with it like you did in kindergarten. And then if you want to save them, just, um, just print them, you know, copy and print. That's it. And so I've got these now that I can use for another project. So that's that. There you go. Thanks for coming by to see me, and uh, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Yeah, I sleep all day. I sleep.